So I'm back from Hawaii, and now we're gonna try and diagnose what actually is the problem. If it's a head, or the bottom end, or lifters, or something weird. Let me check this guy out. So we got, can't open it. Compression tester, that's what we're doing today. And the cylinder leak down test. Hopefully, if there is something wrong, it's a head instead of a block, but it does smoke a lot, so I don't fucking know. So we got the hood off for better lighting, and now we're gonna take the valve cover off, or actually probably not, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do a compression test, probably that first, all right. Ready? Yeah. What? I don't think it's sucked up, right? Why? It's like 20 PSI. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you supposed to have all the other plugs in too? No. No? Reset it. Twenty? If that. Oh my god. The guy said one forty. One fifty. Cylinder one, one more time. Enough oil to fucking hydro lock it. That's probably why it smokes so bad. It's letting on the oil pass. Thirty-five. So, cylinder one has 20 PSI with the compression test. So possibly the rings are fucked, maybe the ring lands, maybe the block's fucked. Maybe it's just a piece of garbage. So I guess now we'll test the head with a cylinder pressure test. 
film that stuff rad enough to see it. We got 45 psi with a hundred percent leak. Away. Moderate. Sixty <laughs> percent. Put it in uh put it in the air, see if it'll develop more. That seems decent. Well, how much PSI? You were getting 150 PSI compression, right? So if you go all the way to the by the front. 100 PSI, it should be pretty decent. Yeah. Not too bad. And you know off the bat, number one. It's definitely leaking. Like. They're all about 60. And it just goes up with more pressure. Probably go set it nicely in the grass. Hey, bye. Dow pen. I don't know how well I filmed that or how well my girlfriend filmed. It was kind of my first time pulling an SR. I pulled a K a couple times. We left the tranny in because that's a little noisy. Uh, we just left it in because might as well. I, don't, I didn't really need to take it out. I don't think anything needs to be serviced. I will change the fluid, which will be easy. But flywheel looks pretty. A lot of heat spots. This flywheel it looks like OEM or really fucking old. But 
Seems as if there's a decent amount of meat, but look at all the heat spots. Garbage. Um, the block looks pretty clean, like up, down, in there. It's all clean. Motor mounts are still good. So this probably is a JDM motor that has, I don't know, not much more than 60,000 miles on it because the block is clean. Just, we just gotta replace everything. Like just missing bolts places. Water pump, probably replace that. Oil pump maybe. That doesn't make too much noise. Garrett, I don't know what I'm looking at because I don't know SR stuff. Maybe that's stock, maybe it isn't. Oil drain, worm gear is on it. Newer O2 aftermarket manifold. Just took the intake thingy out. This thing burns a shit ton of oil, so that's probably why there's oil right there. I think this is a ball bearing turbo. There's our turbo, fins look fine. Not really too much shaft play. A little side to side, a little forward and back. But it's a ball bearing. I think the rings are shot, so that's why there's so much oil right there. So in this video you saw we compression test it, leak down test, we just pulled it out. And next weekend, as in next video, we will tear it apart and check the internals and see what we need to do to finish this and make it great again. Okay. Until next time.